guess what day it is? Yay! It's the fourth day of February, which is mm, my birthday. Yes, so today is my birthday and you know, I am just super excited. I'm thankful to God. It's like, what time? It's like 10, 19 a.m. I have actually been home since like 5 a.m. Responding back to messages, calls, you know, and it's just been overwhelming, you know, in a good way. I am so happy and excited. I'm thankful for the grace to be alive. I mean, that, that, that means a lot. Let me move so you can see my, okay. So that means a lot to me. I am so grateful to God and um, yeah, I'm just so excited, like so excited. I thought I should take you guys along with me today while I just get some little things done. Mostly. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me, do my makeup, get ready with me. I'll be walking you through how I do my makeup, not how to do makeup but how i do my everyday makeup i'll be doing that as well then i'll also be sharing with you the gifts that i got you know for my birthday i know more are still coming i'm still accepting gifts so like you guys can always keep sending the gifts like i'll be so happy in fact i have actually been receiving boxes like if you follow me on instagram you see i've actually been receiving boxes of gifts since last week like my friends are so precious like they are so lovely thank you guys i'm gonna be mentioning your name when i open your gift thank you so much i love you thank you guys for the love thank you for everything my friends my family everybody watching this video like i am super grateful for you guys you know for being part of my life till this time you know i am grateful and i'm thankful to god and you know yeah, I'm happy, I'm excited. I just thought I should share the positive energy with you, you know. So that's what today's vlog is gonna be about. I'm gonna be uh, vlogging to like half of the day before I go pick up my kids from school because when they are back, it's not gonna be vlogging anymore. So starting with the things I got for my birthday. So this one actually showed up at my doorstep like two days ago, which is the only birthday cake I have, you know. I'm so happy. Mariah, if you are watching this video, in fact, you are the best. Like I cannot trade you for anything in this world. I love you, girl. Thank you so much. All right, so this is my cake. I actually just spread it out of the fridge and I opened it. Ignore the patches on the cake because I, um, I mean, they, they stained the, the packaging, so. Yeah, so this is what my cake looks like. Yes, 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 yes. I love it, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Maria. I think I need a dose of caffeine. So, does that make any sense? Dose of caffeine, cup of caffeine. I need caffeine. I need something to keep me awake. So what I'm gonna do now is make my coffee and get a slice of this cake. Like, it's been looking at me since I received it. I can't wait to see what it tastes like. I love cake, though it's not healthy, but hey, it's my birthday. That's the calorie doesn't even count on birthdays. So on birthday, on Christmas, on Thanksgiving, whatever celebration that I'm celebrating on, my calorie counters does not work on days like that. I wish. So yeah. All right, guys. So I am here now to do my makeup. So I mean, this is my first time of doing this. I hope it comes out well. So I have my mirror in front of me. I just switched my vanity um, desk to this side. So you know so i can be back in this this part of my room on the on the table i have all the products that i use and just like i said i'm going to be you know doing my makeup you know chit chatting with you guys like you know my new i don't want like i said like i mentioned earlier i don't want to call it new year's resolution i mean just things that i have learned from other people that I would like to incorporate into my life and the things that I've been doing that I want to stop doing, you know, if that makes any sense. So I'll share with you some of these things that I have listed. Then I'll also, you know, walk you through the products that I use. This is my everyday makeup. This is not a full glam. For full glam look, if I'm able to succeed with this one, like if this one makes any sense, if I'm able to post it, then I'll be encouraged to come here and show you guys like my full glam look and how I do it. I have always say that I cannot do this, but this is my new year. There is nothing like I cannot in my dictionary anymore. I want to face my fears. I want to challenge myself. I want to do things that I've never been able to do or things that I think I can never be able to do. I want to do them. I want to be more outspoken. I want to be better with my communication. I mean, there's a lot of things I want to improve about my life. And you know, this is the right time. I feel so energized about this and I'm pumped you know and one of the major things that i also plan to start doing is 
you know my youtube channel you know i've had this channel for like what like since 2017 i believe was when i posted my video and the only reason why this channel has not grown is because i haven't been consistent you know consistency is key i can understand that i am not perfect i can never be perfect no matter what right but then i just forgot that there is always a beginning to everything i expected that the moment i started youtube that i'll get so good at it that was my expectation but that was what killed me you know so in this new year of my life i have learned that there is no perfection anywhere just be consistent continue trying you know and you're gonna just get better at it so I have not even posted up to 50 videos yet in total and I expect myself to be so perfect. I Sometimes I even make videos and I delete them because I'm like, oh, I'm not making sense. Oh, oh no, that was a blunder. Oh no, that was an error, you know. But this year I'm all about being myself. Like, you know what? Just see me the way I am. Take me the way I am, you know. Let's roll together, you know. I have to roll. I'm actually here to provide value, you know, you know, to you guys by, you know, sharing my things, opening up part of my life that some people might not even be able to do you know so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna give it to you the way i am real and rare and raw you know and i hope that you would accept me that way so that's what my goal is for this year in case you're not following me on instagram you should do that though i mean what are you waiting for i'm going to insert my instagram handle on the screen right now so that you can see and go follow me show me some love because on my instagram page i also post some things that are not enough for youtube you know that might be valuable to you know we ladies especially so sometimes I, I just love to share ideas i love to share tips and tricks you know like we all want to look good be good feel good we need good deals you know so when i see anything that is like okay i think my um beautiful friends and ladies are gonna benefit from this i just post on my um instagram sometimes so i'd advise you follow me on instagram so you don't miss out on anything like my day-to-day -day life or anything that i'm able to share on my instagram so yeah I've actually posted some pictures on my Instagram. So this balloon is one of the ones that I used for my birthday photo shoot. So yeah, that's why I have it behind me. Like it's still, it's still floating. So I'm like, okay, keep playing around. So it's here in my room. All right, so let's get started. <clears throat> so yeah, um, as for my brows, I already have my face. I already have moisturizer on my face. So for my brows, I'm going to be using these two pencils. Um, I mean, they both do the same thing. They are both brown pencils. So this one is actually Wet and Wild pencil. It's by Wet and Wild. And it's in the number... Does it have a number now? Yeah, it's in the number 623A. So this is the brown pencil that I actually use. And this one is called Davis so this pencil you can't find in the us it's only in nigeria you probably can find it in some uh, in some beauty supply stores but this one is from nigeria so when i see anybody traveling i order it and it only costs like about a hundred naira a hundred nigerian naira uh, which is equivalent to like 25 cent in the us so this is the pencil that i use this is what i've been using all my life before i came into the united states this is the pencil that i've been using and it's in number 18 and i don't know maybe until they stop manufacturing this pencil i probably would not even stop using it so quick tip make sure your pencil is pointed before you start drawing your brows like a blunt pencil would never give you that perfect eyebrow that's one thing you should keep in mind then number two do not um when you're doing your makeup you know sorry when you're drawing your brows i meant don't i mean don't be so concerned to have like a perfect drawing at the beginning if that makes any sense because you have the chance to clean it up afterwards so you're gonna see the big mess i'm going to be making drawing my brows then you will see how i will um correct it i want to try <laughs> you need to know how much i am trying i'm trying so hard lord please let me succeed in this thing so okay i want to make sure you are seeing me and i want to see myself in the mirror as well so that's what i'm doing right now so i start from this point of my face so this is how i start like i said it's gonna be a mess but i don't care because i'm still gonna go in with my um found with my concealer anyways to clean it up so this is my signature shape so it depends on your brows so follow the shape of your brows and just trace it all the way so and usually this is my first time i've been doing my makeup like staying far from the mirror i sometimes would have to enter that mirror before i can see very well i hope this works so did you can you see that it's so messy but i really don't care like i said because 
I'll still be cleaning it up. So I'll do the same thing on the opposite side, which is just start from here. All this part, you see what I'm going to do to it eventually. It's not like I'm going to leave it like this. So at the same spot, I'll, you know, create my Nike sign. If This is not a Nike sign, Buki, shut up. Uh, my, what is it called? What shape is this? Just let me know. I don't know. Put it in the comment section below. So yeah, um, like I did on the opposite side as well. I would go to the top and just trace out my brows. And another thing is your brows are sisters. They are not twins. Is that what they say? Or oh, they are twins. They are not sisters. Whatever. But the point is, the meaning is, they can never be the same. You know, like look at it now. I drew this one. I drew this one. See, they are really, really different. So keep that in mind. on me. So I use this one to draw that shape that you are going to tell me what it means then the next step is to go in with my um um anastasia beverly eels deep brow pomade i have one in the color chocolate so i use this anastasia beverly eels um brow pomade to then thicken it up see i'm almost out but it's still a lot trust me like with the covid we haven't really been going out like that so all my makeup are still like well no ex i lied except for my concealer we'll get there i'll show you i really need to shop for for your concealer so yeah so then when i do that i'll just go in i'll take a little just take a tiny little bit not too much then i um just walk you through but while i am using the anastasia beverly eels um, brow pomade i also take note of the huge difference between these two brows and I try to make them match so that's what I'm doing right now just trying to make them match in my own way but there is a better way to make them match at the end of the day so when I get there you see so this is rubbish like serious rubbish just just like I tell you I'm not a makeup artist imagine a client should call me now to come and do makeup for them and I go there and I draw this they'll run out of the room and tell me oh you know what event cancelled because nobody will want to walk around with such brow even if I tell them to trust me, I'm going to fix it. They will not listen, no? and I won't blame them. So yeah. So, but no shaking. I'm gonna correct it. All right. So I'm not giving you brush names because my brushes are from everywhere. You know, whatever works is fine by me. I, I don't know. In fact, I have new set of brush. I I have new brush sets. New set of brush. New set of brush. I think that sounds better. So I have new set of brush. You get it just so i have that like two but i prefer using the ones that i've had since forever because i'm just used to using those ones does that happen to you you know it makes no sense now i'm having to use all these whole brushes that i've had since 1982 that's if only only if i was born in 1982 you know but yeah so well this is actually one of the new ones that i have i've just been using it for decoration i bought this one from where maybe Burlington you know nothing expensive i don't do i don't know i don't know i don't know what the difference will be if i splodge on makeup brush i don't know what the difference will be if you have a makeup brush that actually does your makeup for you by itself let me know that's the one that i'll probably spend money on but if i still have to use the brush to draw my face by myself what's the point i'll probably just stick to the ones that i've had since forever since they are still working mm -hmm. so that's fyi so for my um to clean up my brows i'm gonna be using this um la girl pro concealer this is another concealer and this one is um born this way this one is called Bun This Way. It's to conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. That's what it's meant for. It's a multi-use sculpting, sculpting, yeah, um, super coverage concealer. Please just take me as I am. And the color I have is called Butterscotch. So I'm going to be using the, the lighter shade at the bottom and the darker shade of the concealer at the top. That's what I do. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing right now. So this part is a sensitive part. So I'm going to have to stop talking to do this part. After I have finished cleaning them up with my um, concealers, different shades like I mentioned the lighter shade at the bottom and the darker shade at the top for me that's how it works for me then the next part is to just go in and you know clean out any excess concealer 
then also to clean the middle part because you don't want the tip of your brows looking like you used um, matte set to make it square you know so this is the part where you use the excess um, concealer to make it look natural so that's what I'm doing right now just kind of blending it in to the corner of my um, face just cleaning out the extra concealer I'm still gonna be applying I'm still going to be applying um, foundation on this part but it just better you know to clean out excess concealer so I think my brows are okay this way I mean if you think they are not okay then please teach me this is the best I can do for my everyday makeup look if I was probably going out and if I wasn't recording it might be better than this but this is the best I can do so the next thing that I do is I go in with my eyeshadow so this is my eyeshadow no I lied actually before my eyeshadow I go in with my um, highliner so I have this jumbo eyeliner pencil from oh sorry I have this jumbo highliner pencil from uh, beauty supply store it's like a dollar I just picked it up I just love that it's like so black so what I do is I walk it through in my eyes so I mean this actually helps open up your eyes you know that's what it does it helps open up your eyes and that's what I do just a little bit you have to be careful with this pencil because it's so it's so what now like it's so obvious when you use it so you don't want it to you know darken other areas that you don't want it to darken you really just want it to darken inside your eyes so you know and like I said this is not a full glam I don't need too much I don't I just need to open my eyes so the next part is to go in with my foundation so this is one of the Huda beauties ignore the stickers that I have on my makeup you know it's just I don't know I got the sticker from Becca from Becca Cosmetics and I just sticked it on most of my makeup pieces so this is the Topaz Obsession um, foundation palette is a mini one from Huda Beauty I mean Huda Beauty is someone that I have a big respect for because most of our things are high quality argue with me there might be some things you use from Huda Beauty that you don't like please let me know but you hardly see anything she makes that is that is inferior so for my inner crease I actually go with you know a dark color maybe this one maybe this one and some other ones from my other palettes or maybe this one so for this look I'm actually gonna be going with this one right here I don't know what the exact color is for that I don't know what the name of that color is but that's what I do I go in pardon me while I use this mirror as well I hope you can see me so I use that for my inner crease I do it lightly not too much just one touch goes a long way like the palette is is the bomb like you don't have to use too much to achieve um, what you need to achieve then I take the same palette so another thing is when I'm doing my makeup I do both I treat both like they're twins do you do the same thing or do you just finish one high and go to the other so I'm gonna leave it that way so the next part is I'm gonna look for something lighter so I'm using something light for this part of my eyes and I think I'll probably do this one that is almost gone For the top of my eyes, I just use um, my powder to blend it out. So for my powder, I use the MAC Studio Fix and this is in color NC50. That's my color. So I'm just going to use my little brush to tap my um, powder a little bit and just work it just to blend out, you know, the just to blend out the color that I applied to my crease. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side just to, you know, blend it out. So it kind of fades off at the top. That's what I'm doing right now. Once I'm done with that part, I go into this palette. So this palette is called Dream, the Dream Sigma, blah, blah, blah. You know, I just picked it up off name my Marcus website. Never used it before, but it's okay, not bad. I just don't gravitate towards this palette like that. I mostly use my Huda Beauty. That's just one thing about me. Once I love something, it, it doesn't stop me from buying other ones, so, but I'll still go back and be using what I, you know, believe in my head that is the best. So I'm just gonna pick this highlighting color right here just a little bit just a tap not too much and I'll use it to and I use it to you know lift my lift my eyes at that part not too much just a little bit even if it's too much you can always go in with your powder again to blend it out because you don't want that part looking painted like as if they used the hand to draw you 
no this is a lot it's a whole lot but I don't want it this much so what I'm gonna do is you know use my powder to blend it out again afterwards so yeah if I decide to leave it this is what it's gonna look like but it's too much so I'm gonna change it now tone it down with my powder again let's pick my powder touch tone it down to So the next thing I do is I go in with my highliner. So I have this eyeliner from LA Color, LA Colors. It's a liquid highliner from LA Colors. And I got this one from the dollar store. It's just a dollar. <laughs> it's what I've been using since God created me. And I'll probably use it forever. I've actually bought other ones. You know, there is this one called Fabu Liner. It's a stick liner. I've bought other ones, but I still always come back to this one because in my language, we say it's a I'm used to it. So I start from the middle so that the middle can take the big part, the major part of the liquid. Then I end up in the corner of my eyes. Let me stop talking because you can't talk through this process. So. so after I'm done with my highliner, I go in with my mascara. And the one that I use is the Laura Mercier um, mascara. I don't know the exact name, but this is what the container looks like. And it's by Laura Mercier. So it's not so it's not watery, it's all this dry mascara that does a lot like it lifts your high eye, it lift it lifts your high lashes like perfectly. It's just like a natural high lashes in answer. So this is what I do. You can't really see what I have. I'm still gonna be wearing another eyelashes. So once I'm done with that, then my eyes are done. So the next part is to go in with my primer. So this is the Becca primer, and it is the same one that I've had in all my videos when I talk about my makeup products. This is the one I've had since forever, and it's the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Protector. But this is how much I use. So I put some here, some here, some at the top of my nose. Then I just rub it into my face. So I'm going to put a link to the foundation in the description section below. Everything that I'm able to find online, I'll put the description below so you guys can... I'm still going to be talking through so many things that I would like you guys to go check out if you are interested to buy. Just FYI. So this one is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And really, it is All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Like, my face doesn't get oily at all. You know, I have, I have a combination skin. You know, even in winter, I still have combination skin. I mean, on my face. You know, I still get some oil. And with this foundation, I don't I don't have that issue with oiliness, you know. So I'm just, you know, sh shaking it up. Make sure you shake it very well, anything you're using, because it settles, right? It's made up of different things. So it settles when you're not using it. So yeah, shaking it up. Then I go in with the amount of pop that I need. I'm done with my foundation and just like I mentioned earlier, I am not doing like a full look, a full glam look. So this is just mostly what I'm going to have on my face before my powder, but just so the underneath of my, just so, just so underneath my eyes doesn't look too dull. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of the, um, bond this way concealer at the bottom of my eyes, just a little bit, just a little bit and a little bit on my nose bridge and a little bit there just gonna pat it in so this um translucent um setting powder by laura Mercier is what i'm gonna be using so i have turned it upside down so i think i have enough product to go under my face then i'm using this nameless brush you know just to apply a little bit of um highlight under my eye I just go in like so so if I was doing so what I do is I let the setting powder sit on my face so this is the part where I begin to put glue on my high lashes on my um, 
false lashes. I do have eyelashes. Like, I don't put glue on my own eyelashes or my false lashes. So this is the part where I apply the glue and begin to let it dry while I wait for the um, setting powder to stay on my face before I brush out the excess one. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just put glue on my eyelashes and set it aside and I'll continue. So I made a mistake. See? I, I mean, I'll get better. I did not show you my powder process. So what I did was I just took my powder brush, dipped it into my powder and used it all over, you know, the part where it doesn't have the highlighting powder. Then I used the brush to dust off the excess um, powder that I had, you know, underneath my eyes and my um, nose bridge, you know, and right here, I just dusted off the excess um, um, highlighting powder with the brush. Then I took more powder and I, you know, used it over my face like so. So the next part is my blush. So the blush that I have is by MAC and it's in the color A36, which is called Raisin. So it's spelled like R-A-I-Z-I-N, Raisin. So it's the Raisin Matte Powder Blush. So that's what this blush is. I've had it for a long time. Like the stuff lasts for so long. Like I don't use so much anyways. So I just put it on my um, cheekbone like that and just, you know, pat it out, you know, put it on my cheekbone and work it out. So this is how I apply my blush side. So the next part is to go in with my um, inner highs, you know, highlight if that's a thing but what I'm trying to do mostly is to just put a little bit of pop in the corner of my eyes so I am going to go in with my I'm gonna go in with my um, I mean the same color that I use for this part of my eyes I'm going to grab it just a little bit and put it in the corner of my eyes I mean like I said so this is actually to make my eyes you know open wider and actually pop you see the difference now so that's why I actually use this. So days when I don't want it, I don't use it. But days when I want my eyes to look like pop and, you know, obvious, then I actually go in with this. It can be any shade. It's up to you. Just something that is a little bit shiny. You get my point? Just to open up your eyes better. That's the purpose of that. So as soon as I'm done with that, because I have actually got some product on my on my brows since I've been applying powder and all that, I just go in with this brush, you know. So this is just me walking the brush through, you know. I usually use the brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I don't have it right here. It's in my bedroom, and I can't go to that bedroom right now. God sees my heart. Like I'm so tired already. So I'm just using like empty brush without gel. So it's the same brush, but I dip it in the gel and I use it to brush my eyes is what I, to brush my brows is what I do, but I don't have it here like I mentioned earlier. So as soon as I'm done, then I'll go in with my setting spray. Um, just one minute. So this is the setting spray I use. It's the Prep Plus, it's the MAC Prep Plus Prime Fix Plus is what I use. Just turn it like, turn it like so shake it up and spray all over as much as you can you know i like doing this so i do a lot of it don't worry it's gonna dry up it doesn't stay like that so once my face is wet is when i like to use my eye my real um highlight and i use the mac if a16 gold deposit mineralized skin finish you know so this is what i use and ignore the sticker this is what it looks like this is what my highlight looks like so I'm just gonna go with my brush and just touch it a little and just because I just sprayed my face it allows it helps my highlight to stick better so I'm just you know touching and I'm gonna get more and touch this part as well I do more if I'm doing my full glam just FYI so then I just use a little bit on the bridge of my nose a little bit of my cupid whatever that's called then touch 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 I can't talk through this part I'm just gonna go ahead and do it you know without talking just so that I can get it done perfectly so I just take the so the the eyelash the eyelashes already has glue you make it to dry and get a little bit tacky before using so just put it in So 
So once I'm done with my lashes, the last part is to go in with my lips. So before I go, go, go in with my lips, I'd like to share with you some of the things that I promised to share with you about the things that I plan to start doing in case you might want to apply the same thing to your lifestyle. I mean, it's okay. I mean, they are not bad stuff. I mean, depending on you. So the number one thing is what I've actually done, which is writing down the things I mean, writing down anything like back, I realized that back in the days when I used to write, I was smarter in a way. I'm still smart. Don't get me wrong, but I was smarter, sincerely speaking, because then I had less things in my mind that I have to remember. I don't know if that's what it is, but then writing it down, just kind of like it's usually a step towards me doing those things so if i have anything to do i list them out like for example the videos that i'm planning to do for my youtube as well already i have listed them all out so that way me seeing it in my note on a daily basis it's like a reminder you know to tell me that i need to get this thing done so to keep it quick and short number one thing is to make sure that i write down anything that i plan to do as as i'm thinking about it i mean it helps me not to procrastinate it it, it serves as a reminder for me and it actually helps me to even begin to plan towards it so writing things down you know is one of the things that I want to start doing again. I used to do it before. I used to keep journal. At the point in my life, I thought it was just a waste of time or maybe stupid. But now I've got to, I've come to realize that it's something that works for me and I should continue doing it as well. So you might try it out. If you need to do anything, no matter how big the stuff is, write it down, plan it out. It kind of helps. When I say write down, you can type it on your phone. You can use a pen and paper. It's up to you. But right now I use my phone note. So my note is there. Like, why do I have the note there? Like it's doing nothing, right? So my note is there. I just use my note to type out different things. My my account, my finances, my budget, my wish list, my plan for my YouTube channel, my plan for my kids, my plan for myself, for my husband, what I'm planning to cook next, you know, my next schedule for this, this, that. I have it all in my note. I use my calendar as well sometimes for my reminders. So putting things down is something that has helped me in the past. I want to start doing it again. So that's number one. Number two, looking at my note is I want to begin to... Um, I want to begin to read more books <laughs> the whole of last year i only read one book it's a shame i know but there was a time last year 20, 2020 that i bought a lot of books a lot of motivational books a lot of books that i can learn from so it's up to you if you're somebody that want to go into cooking for example you want to go into business or you want to go into um i mean whatever it is you want to go into there are books that people have written to share their experience so i want to begin to pick up books to you know help me to you know get better at whatever it is i'm planning to do so i want to start reading more books that's one of the things that i have listed another thing that i have listed that you might benefit from is i want to stop living this unhealthy life because i i've been hiding under the shadow of um quarantine and um lockdown and um working from home and i've been eating anyhow you know sometimes at 10 p.m i'm already i'm grabbing like maybe what you know I, funny enough i don't eat sweet things i don't eat chocolate i don't eat cookies and all that what i hate is food you know i love my food i I love my African stew. I love my jollof rice. I love my fried rice. Those are the things that have been killing me. Like since the lockdown till now, I've gained like what, like 50 pounds. I mean, it's obvious. If you go back to look at the videos that I made before, before um, I started again. I don't know what the title is, but if you go back to see the videos that I made, even the one that I made talking about how I lost my weight, I lost a lot of weight, but then I gained them, I gained the weight back and some because I've just been eating so unhealthy. So eating is good. Don't get me wrong. Food is good. I don't follow any diet because following diet doesn't work for me. It doesn't last. If I want to do keto, for example, for how long in my life will I spend doing keto? Is there keto jollof fries? Is there keto fried rice? Is there keto pounded yam? I still want to, I still want to enjoy the benefit of eating good food, but but I just don't want to eat it in excess. What I do is I eat in excess and at the wrong time as well. Before I started this bad habit, I would start eating at 10 a.m. in the morning and I would stop at 6 p.m. at night. But now, like I said, 10 p.m. I'm grabbing something. 11 p.m. if I'm still up, I'm probably taking my bowl of popcorn. Like it makes no sense. So that I want to work on and stop doing. Then another thing is that I want to start doing is pay more attention to my routine, you know, like my routine. I do have a lot of routine, right? Some of them, I just, sometimes I just say, mm, you know what? Mm, I don't want to do it this week, Jerry. Sure you get. So it's more of procrastinate. It's more of laziness 
you know it's actually more of laziness you know i just want to stop being lazy and begin to follow my routine because i have realized that back in the days when i had a routine i was i had a better performance i performed better at everything that i was doing but without a routine without a plan i'm only setting myself up for failure so i want to start you know following my routines again so you can have routine of anything my sisters my brothers whoever is watching this video you can have routine for anything you can have routine for cleaning your house you can have routine for cooking your food you can have routine for getting your business done you know so you can have routine for self-care i have my self-care routine i have my body care routine i have my face care routine you can have routine for anything you know routine is like a planned out step for a particular process you are trying to achieve so that's what the routine is for me. So I want to begin to, I do have this routine. It's just that I stopped following them. I want to start following them more now. Then another one that I can share with you is, let me see, fasting and praying more, you know, back in the days I used to have like at least one day of fasting a week where I pray for my children, where I pray for myself, when I, when I'm just like, you know, when I'm dead to my body, you know, fasting is just you being dead to your body and more, staying more connected with God. If you're not able to fast, it's okay. Just make sure you pray regularly on that particular day. Just make it like your own sacred day with God. Every day should be your day with God. Don't get me wrong. So study my Bible on a daily basis is another thing that I have on my list because now using digital Bible, in fact, I'm looking at my Bible, I'm reading the Bible and the next thing I see a notification from Instagram, I'll just change. Ah, hey, really fine girl. Oh, serious God. Pa, 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 pa. I forgot that. I've forgotten that I'm reading Bible. That it's not a good life so i want to also go back to using my actual um hard copy bible i don't want to use my um well, I can use my soft copy Bible as well, like the app on my phone. It's okay. But I have just realized that um, using my hard copy Bible helps me to, you know, I like the part that I want to, you know, pay attention to, that I want to dominate my life. You know, it's just helpful for me to read my hard copy Bible compared to my soft copy Bible. So I want to do more of reading my hard copy Bible. That's another thing that I want to do. What else? Okay. The last thing on my list, I mean, it's not in any particular order, not the last thing on my list, the last thing on my list that I can actually share with you, because I have a lot of stuff that I kind of person that are kind of personal, you know, to me. So I might not be able to talk about those ones. I'm just saying the ones that I'm able to talk to you about. So the last one on my list that I'm going to be sharing with you right now is, you know, to stop biting my nails, guys. Like I always have to have artificial nails on my fingers to not bite them. I don't know. Like the struggle is real i just would just sit down and be like biting my nails it's a very bad habit it doesn't look good trust me it looks ugly ugly so i want to stop biting my nails so i mean not like i sit down all day biting my nails but if i'm just idle doing not maybe i'm watching a movie and i'll just get carried away and i'll start biting my nails or something you know but if i have artificial nails on i don't do that but with my natural nails i'll just start i'll start by feeling the nails oh okay this is like a nails that is chipping i'll just use my i want to use my teeth to get it out so i want to stop doing that um that's you know some of the things that i plan to do so now let me go to um pull my lip gloss so that i can stop this makeup video right here I have probably gone for too long doing this so what I'm using now it's a brown pencil uh, I got this one from Mac it's a Mac brown pencil uh, I'm doing a neutral look so I'm putting a neutral lipstick nude lipstick on my lips and this pencil is called chestnut by Mac lipstick I'm gonna be applying is this one called kinda sexy it's a matte lipstick by Mac this is one of their holiday packages I don't know since when I've had this lipstick, but yeah. So, so I'm just using this kind of sexy. It's a nude color. It's supposed to be matte, but wait, I think it's semi matte. It's actually matte lipstick, but I don't understand why it feels like it is glossy. My point is, it's not as matte as Ruby Woo. So, I know they have semi matte, but this doesn't feel extremely matte. So, it's still like it's, it has some oil, which is good. So to top it, I'm just going to put this um, lip gloss by Victoria's Secret. So yeah, just a little. Oh, so my makeup is done and I have my wig on. So yeah, I am just going to jump right into the um, things that I got for my birthday. Some of these things I got from friends. I got one from my husband, from my kids. You know, I'm just going to share them with you. So yeah, um, yeah, I got my cake. 
um, in no particular order I'm gonna start with the little pieces first I also got these two bracelets so these two bracelets I got from Tori Botch one from my daughter and one from my son so this is what the two bracelets look like and of course my daughter and my son they are still toddlers right they can't go shopping by themselves but for every year my daughter is always like oh mommy like she asked me this morning she was like what did I buy you I'm like oh you bought me a bracelet she likes to hear that like she likes to hear that she actually gave me something because if I tell her you didn't buy me anything she probably start disturbing everybody in the house like oh we need to take her to the store she wants to go and buy mommy makeup she wants to go so before she begins to say that I just go ahead when I go shopping buy little I mean buy something you know tangible that I love for myself and I tag it from them you know so yeah one from my son one from my daughter these two Tori Botch bracelets I love this bracelet because it's giving me the Hermes vibes and of course I mean I can't afford the Hermes bracelet right now so this is actually going to do for now I love it like the gold hardware is so beautiful and um, this retailed for 145 I believe each so I have this too I'm gonna be linking everything in the description box below so that I don't just try to give you wrong information I totally might not remember all the information about everything I have but yeah these are the two bracelets that I got from my daughter and my son this one is green and this one is white so I have those two bracelets so the next items that I'm gonna be talking about are rings so if you know me you know um, one of my obsession in fact my biggest obsession is with gold I love solid gold pieces I'm actually gonna be making two videos Going, showing you guys my jewelry collection. I have to break it up into two because I have non-gold jewelries and I have gold jewelries as well. So because I also have a lot of things and tips to share with you about buying gold and honing gold and you know just any just like all the information that I know about gold I'd like to share with you so that's the reason why I'm gonna have to break that video into two so like I mentioned earlier I'm gonna be having a video for my non gold jewelries and another video for my solid gold jewelries where I'll be talking in details about gold and all that good stuff so because I want to start I, have, I don't have any gold ring the only one I had I sold it so for now I'm buying like non gold pieces just to try out how they would look and feel so that I will know the style that I will request for I have this piece I have this piece that I got off Amazon for my birthday I've had this one before my birthday this one I got specifically for my birthday you know just you know one of the rings that I would like to try out so this one I actually put on my no this one is a size 8 so I put it on my second hand the ring finger on my second hand is where I have this one so this is what it looks like so yeah so this one I got from Macy's I don't know what this one is made of but it does have um, multiple color stones on it and it's so beautiful it's really really beautiful so this one I actually bought for my um, for this finger what's this finger called again I forgotten but yeah so this one I actually bought for this finger and then I have this beautiful vintage vibes looking one I also got this one from Macy's yeah I bought it for this finger and I also got this one off Amazon as well this is um, gold plated sterling silver as well so these are actually sterling silver gold plated and all that so these ones I cannot wear to dip my hands in water or take my shower with I'm actually just buying this one to practice just to see how they would look like how they will fit so when I'm choosing the styles of the gold rings that I want then I can easily decide on the styles that I want to pick so this is me just practicing just by practicing now I already know that I will definitely be getting a ring for this finger I will definitely be getting a ring for my thumb but I might not get a ring for my pinky finger I I'm not feeling the pinky finger vibes I'm not feeling it it looks somehow so now I already know so that's the purpose of me getting all these pieces just to try out before I begin to collect the actual gold imagine imagine if they're actual gold they're just gonna be there in my collection doing nothing because I won't wear them so what's the point so this one is 18 carats gold chain and it's the Van Cleef inspired style so this is actually in 18 carat gold so uh, and I also have the bracelet so I got the bracelet as well. These pieces I got for myself. I mean, this entire Van Cleef um, jewelry collection I got for myself. It also comes with a little tiny earring that I love so much. I wore it for my birthday photo shoot and it was so beautiful. You can imagine, I love the green 
I love the green. The green is so beautiful. So yeah, I do have the two earrings, the bracelet and the chain. Oops, they are all in 18 karat gold and I got them from Dubai. So yeah, I mostly buy my gold from Dubai. I'll give you more details in my um, gold jewelry collection video so yeah so yeah i got that as well so fast forward to this beautiful skirt that i got for myself i actually got this one from any loge style fix so any loge style fix is an online boutique that i mean is that is a is an instagram boutique should i call that they don't have a website but they do have an instagram page where you can actually go and you know ping the the customer people i mean the customer support team and you place your order with them they are safe like trust me all you need to do is pull up their page I'm gonna link their page below so pull up their page on Instagram DM them you know they have lovely lovely pieces but I don't have I mean for a pleated cap that has all this grafty I don't have all I don't have any piece that has this um, this grafty design so that was the reason why I picked up this skirt like I love it a lot I'm waiting for summer so that I can rock the skirt you know I love it a lot so this is what the skirt looks like I hope you can see very well so I got this from myself I got it in the size medium yeah I got it in the size medium and yeah it's like um, mid-length so that's what the skirt looks like looks like so do you know I can actually wear it as a dress and just let it stop right on my chest like so yeah so i got this get from any Loge style fix so shout out to any Loge style fix this is like a very very beautiful piece like the picture on their page is not even doing it justice but yeah i have this get that i bought for myself from their website so what since i'm already talking about the things that i got for myself i'm gonna go into the next item this item i actually unboxed in detail so if you want to know more about the bag you want to see how i unboxed it i'm gonna link the video in the um, description section below but in the meantime i'm just gonna show you the next item i got for myself so the next item i got for myself is this cute bag like it's so beautiful i cannot just get over this bag like i love it a lot i love it a lot you know i'm so obsessed right now so yeah so i got this bag for myself this is like the what now maybe the third major item that i got for myself i love it so much and yeah this is what it looks like if you want to see it in details i'd advise you click the link in my description box to see the details so the next item i got for myself i've actually unboxed in a separate video as well so if you want to see more about it just like the louis vuitton um hama bb bag i'd advise you go ahead and click the link to this bag in the description section below so the next item that i got for myself is this turboch bag and this is what it looks like i love this bag a lot i used it for my photo shoot and people have just been giving it a lot of nice comments like oh this is so nice giving me the top handle chanel medium flap bag you know so it's giving me that vibes and that's why i love this bag a lot but eat this one is to report like obviously right so yeah i i unboxed this bag in a separate video and i gave you details about it if you want to know just click on the um link below so i got this one so next i'm going to be talking about my birthday gift from my darling husband and this is this perfume yes the popular mason francis Kajen Paris Barakat. Oh, sorry, let's say Barakat. Oh my god, okay. Baccarat Rouge 540. Here, the perfume. So, I got this and I am so excited. So, little bit of background story. So, this perfume has been on my wish list for a long time, you know. But I'm like, hey, come on, see, this price is not just, it's not a child price, so, you know. But I've just been hiding it and hoping that I'm able to save and get it. I'm just opening it up now. He actually gave me this morning, so I haven't even, I haven't even perceived it or anything. And it's going to be my first time of perceiving this perfume. Like, I've had a lot of good stuff about it. And this one is 70 ml size. And guys, you already know, right? As tiny as this thing is, eh? Hmm it is well so yeah so this is what the perfume packaging looks like when i put it out of the box so i'm just gonna bring it out right now is this a mirror no i'm just gonna bring it out and try it on i haven't worn any perfume today so it's just perfect so yeah so this is what the perfume looks like it's the plain one so hmm. Hmm. see i almost cannot even press it very well oh my god hmm now i see so i agree so I have the dupe of this perfume, which is, oh shoot, I can't pronounce that perfume in my head. 
but I'll put the name on the screen right now. So that's the dupe of the perf of this perfume. And sincerely speaking, they smell alike. But the difference between this one and that one will probably be that that one doesn't last at all. So that one fades off the skin like, you know. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Hmm. 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 So that's that about that. I'm gonna move on to the last item that I have here physically, which is this Ralph Lauren boot by my darling friend. Bidemi. So her name is Bidemi and she is the CEO of Eniloge Style Fix. That girl eh, her fashion sense is out of this world. I'm trying to keep up, God help me. I hope I'll get there someday. But I'm trying to keep up. Bidemi, if you are watching this video, you already know my darling that I heart you. Like I love you so much. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you for this gift and thank you for many more gifts to come. Thank you for the ones that I've received in the past, you know, thank you for fixing me stylishly You know, sometimes when I'm like in confusion like, oh, what should I wear? Or how should I combine this? Or I'll just quickly go into a DM, babe, jaw, please, jaw miss, please um, What do you think about this combination? Is it making sense? You know, I should be like, ah, no, 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 don't put it that way mm, No, no, don't put it that way So my point is, she has a boutique on Instagram and what they do is they fix you stylishly So what they do is, they find a way to extract the beauty out of you by providing you with a nice combination and pieces of how fit that would elevate your style like from zero to hundred that's what they do so she actually got me this um this boot and i'm just going to unbox it like so and it's the ralph lauren boot she got me this boot so beautiful i love it so much and yeah it's, it's like so it has this ralph lauren um hardware by the side and it has the um zipper right here it's a size 10 and this is the boot that she got me they look like so I never have as in this will be my first brown boot so there is another boot that I received from my darling friend Adishewa hmm. Adishewa so her name is Dara don't mind me I have the only one that call her Shewa because you know she's like my baby sister she's so precious to my heart so her name is Dara so Dara also got me a boot but when it came she bought it in size 9 but I'm actually a size 10 so I had to return it to have her reorder to send it to me yeah so I'm just looking forward to receiving my boots again in the mail so that's why I'm like if you're not following me on Instagram you want to follow me on Instagram so you can see when I do um, you know like during the day random videos or things that I would like to share with you and all that stuff so I'm putting my Instagram handle again on the screen so that you can see and go right ahead to follow me so you don't miss out on nice and juicy stuff you know because I actually put more updates there you know because I'm able to do it like you know easily you know so yeah so that's the last piece of gifts that I got I'm still expecting more like I said so you guys should keep it coming keep it coming keep it coming but in the meantime those are the things that I have to share with you I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you do please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you are new to my channel thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate you and if you're an old subscriber you know I got you know you know I, you, 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 if you're an old subscriber you know I always always appreciate you and I will always do that's all about today's video today's vlog I actually just wanted you guys to come through with me to see you know my getting ready process and just to share with you what I got for my birthday let you know kind of like share the happiness and the positive vibes that I'm feeling today and that I always feel on every day by God's grace and that I will always feel as well so that's just what today's video is all about you know I would like to say a very big thank you to my subscribers you guys are the best thank you for staying with me if you are new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and at the end of this video overall if you like it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up to encourage me you know so um that's all for today's video i hope you remain blessed peace